Welcome to our YouTube channel dedicated to exploring the latest insights and opportunities in the world of finance and investments with a special focus on currency revaluation, gold and silver investments, cryptocurrency and make money online opportunities and more. If you're interested in staying up to date on the latest developments in currency revaluation, particularly the Iraq dinar and other currencies, best to subscribe to this channel. Please note that the content on this YouTube channel is for informational purposes only and should not be considered financial advice. We are not licensed financial advisors, and the opinions expressed on this channel are based on our own research and personal experience. We strongly recommend that you do your own research and consult with a licensed financial advisor. Also, just before we go any further, this channel has a weekly giveaway of 100 Dogecoin. To enter, all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel, like this video, and watch this video until the end, because if you don't, you will be automatically disqualified from the giveaway. We will be sharing the random hashtag keyword daily somewhere in the video, and then comment hashtag the keyword with no spaces in between in the comment section. Good luck. Now, let's proceed with the latest to act in our news and until today. From Intel Guru Yada, fear not, this currency will change because the demands of the budget will require it. It will not and cannot operate successfully at 13.01. From Newshound Guru Pimpy, in the 1930s, you used to be able to get $4.86 for every Iraqi dinner you had. This continued on up until 1950s, then all of a sudden the value started to go down for decades. Once you got to about 1971, two dollars and eighty cents then it went back up three dollars and twenty two cents then in 1973 three dollars and thirty nine cents this continued to about 1980 and has been in a steady decline ever since from intel guru frank 26 all of you that are going to exchange your dinars into american dollars where are those dinars going into our u.s treasury you think we can pay off the deficit yeah in a blink of an eye from Intel Guru Mark Z, everyone is sitting at the ready, and the anticipation on the banking side is of yesterday they are still expecting some kind of announcement this week. They don't know what that means as to when we go in, but they have anticipation. We all hope it is accurate. I think it's highly doable and reasonable we see an announcement this week. From Newshound Guru Militia Man, there's some squabbling going on who's going to control the Iraq exchange rate that's been going on in the parallel market. Tihe have to change some things because it hasn't been quite working. What would cure the parallel market is obvious to everybody. It's an exchange rate change. Something significantly stronger than the dollar would clear it up. They've said yesterday the situation has become more urgent to adopt new approaches that focus on blocking illegal channels and providing the facilities and flexibility required for legitimate currency trading markets. From Newshound Guru Claire, article, exchange companies are preparing for a major demonstration tomorrow, Monday. Quote, the owners of exchange companies announced that they will stage a demonstration on the 3rd of July in front of the central bank gate on Al Rashid Street to demand a change in the bank's policy, which they described as wrong. From Newshound, Intel Guru Walking Stick via Frank 26, it is unlikely this budget is 65 trillion dinars. It's more in the billions. We simply wait for the budget to show us a new exchange rate. It's all in the accounting. They can change the rate at a moment's notice just like that and they're prepared to do it. If you don't see a new exchange rate in the budget yet, no worries. But the budget is impossible at a program rate. We know this for a fact. From Newshound Guru Caperoni, we expect the dinar to rise gradually as a result of the success and growth of their economy as a result of the private sector investment and the increase in their own GDP Iraq would make the dinar the main currency in Iraq which they're beginning to do. They need to continue this transition to the digital dinar. From Newshound Guru Pimpi, I agree it would be nice if they had a stronger currency. I think it'd be more helpful. They just don't have the right things in place in order for them to jump up to a high exchange rate. That's why I said you're going to see them doing it in increments. It's impossible for them to jump right into $3.22. And 22 cents. All it takes is one small thing to happen within the oil market, and it would totally collapse the entire economy. Before ending with the last update, 
The hashtag keyword for the 100 Dogecoin giveaway is collapse. You can be the lucky winner if you like, subscribe, and watch the main content of this video. This will be for this coming Sunday's giveaway, and the winner will be announced in one of the Sunday's videos so you do not want to miss it. And finally, the last update is from Intel Guru Frank 26. Question, we're gonna see the 800 number soon, Frank. There is no 800 number. You want an 800 number. Take your credit card, turn it around. There's the 800 number for your bank. Call them when this thing happens and see what their rate is. Want a universal 800 number? Call the US Treasury. Don't do it now. Wait till it happens. But for there to be one number for every bank, every exchange institution, that's an insanity even to consider. Note, whether there are safe 800 numbers or 800 numbers to avoid like the plague because they're a security risk to you and your family, you will be alerted. That's all for the latest updates on the Iraq Dinar. What are your thoughts of all the articles or news coming from Iraq and opinions from these Intel providers? Lastly, we posted a news article video yesterday that highlights the remarkable growth of the housing sector investments in Diyala Governorate, Iraq. The Federation of Iraqi Chambers of Commerce recently announced an agreement with the UAE and Saudi Arabia to form business councils, and the UAE has allocated a massive $6 billion to support operations in Iraq. If you want to find out more on this article news, please go ahead and check out this video. You will see the link on the top right of this screen. Lastly, we will continue to post videos about the recent events and articles supporting the changes taking place in Iraq so you don't want to miss them. Also, don't forget, please drop a comment below with hashtag and the keyword and let us know what you think. If you like this content and like to support this channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you get notified when new videos are uploaded. See you on the next video. Bye.